Holy Spirit, we need Thee. Thank You for Your presence. Thank You for Your presence. If we call on the Holy Spirit, it's not that the Holy Spirit's not here, it is that the Holy Spirit is in us, but it needs to come to the front. It's like waters in our valley. I will give you living water, and that spoken Jesus of Holy Spirit, that He will fill us, and that needs to come outside of our valley and flow over you. And the way He's coming is through your voice. If you use your voice, it is wind, it is spirit that is rise out of your valley, and it's flowing over you. So more you praise God and lift up His name and honor Him and give glory unto Him, the more Holy Spirit is using your body to create glory for God. For God comes in glory. And we create the glory for Him to come. I can create glory for God and I can feel His presence and you need, in the same place can be lost. You can be a, in another place. So you need to use your voice. It is like a, a big uh, glass. Magnifying. Magnifying glass. The sun is shining, so the sun is present. But the magnifying glass, when you put it in the sunlight, it concentrates that energy, and that power, and that light. That's the same, what your voice is doing. It is Holy Spirit is present, it's in you, but your voice is magnifying His presence and concentrate it to a specific thing. So Holy Spirit can, if you say, glory, 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 what are you doing? The glory that is great splendor light, that is life, that is Christ, that is Holy Spirit, that you previously received and is in you. You are focusing it and it's coming outside of you. What do you? You create glory. Glory all around you. And then you have an open heaven. Now you need to have, have an open heaven so that God and you can reconnect it. I know that God and you are reconciled, meaning you are one. But as you live in this natural body, you are sometimes connected to Him and sometimes you are not connected to Him. Sometimes you are in a flesh and sometimes you are in a spirit. When you are in a spirit, you are connected to Him. Then you have His mind. Sometimes the mind of Martin is coming. Then I'm not connected to Him. You understand? How it works? Amen. So you can walk a life on this earth being connected always to Him. For He has reconciled you with Him. You are one with Him. You are already being married. Born again experience is the married thing. There will not be a marriage in heaven someday. He is not a, a man and you are a woman. You are His wife. When you accept Him and He comes as Lord and Savior, as your husband, into you, you are one. Amen. You are one with Him. So if you have your Bibles, I want you to go with me. Um, and I'm going to read to you Revelation 4. Revelation 4 verses 6a. And I'm speaking a, about the perfect. It is so important to understand the perfect. Mm -hmm. The perfect. Now you will see here on my board. You will see perfect. Then I have the throne here. The throne. God is sitting on the throne. throne. Alright. John was in heaven. Through the open door. Revelation 4. And the first thing he saw. There was a throne set in heaven. And the, him that was set upon the throne with God. Like, and God looked like Jasper and you know the stuff. The throne. Then I have here a glass. A glass. Alright, and then I have here a group. 
my group. So let me read to you. Verses 6, verses 8. And before the throne, and before the throne, there was a sea of glass. Before the throne, yes, my throne, was a sea of glass, like unto crystal. So the sea of glass was like unto unto crystal unto crystal now crystal is beautiful it's like diamond you can look through crystal crystal is pure it is very hard it, it is precious it is transparent it is it's awesome and it is costly you know transparent so around the throne who is sitting on the throne God around the throne was a, a sea or a floor of glass. A sea. Now let's focus. Revelation 17, verse 15 says, John, the waters that you see, I'm going to show you signals. And that signifies stuff. John, you see candlesticks. Candlesticks is the church. Some things I will say to you and some things I won't say to you. The sea that you see where the harlot is seated on the sea in Revelation 17. The waters is humanity. It's people. The sea is people. It's humanity. Alright? Okay. I see around the throat where God is set, I see a water, a people of crystal clear glass. They look like crystal clear glass. Alright, let's go to Revelation 19. Revelation 19, verses 5, 6 and 7, 8. And the voice came out of the throne. Look, look here. I want to. And the voice, God is sitting on the throne. And the voice came out of the throne. Saying, praise our God. This throne says to someone, praise our God. All ye servants. I see a sea of glass around the throne. And the voice say to the servants, Hey, ye that fear him, both small and great, praise God. And I heard, as it were the voice of great multitude. I see around the throne, I see God on the throne, and the voice coming out from the throne, out of God, saying, to the servants, praise ye God. Alright, Revelation 19 verse 5. And a voice came out of the throne. Praise our God, ye all ye servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and the voice of many waters. I heard a great voice of multitude. Servants praise the Lord out of the throne. Servants, people, see, praise the Lord. And out of this multitude I heard a voice. The voice of many waters. So the sea is humanity. And they are children of God. And in them, they speak a voice. And their voice was like many waters. What voice? The voice that, listen, I'm going to baptize you with spirit. That will be like waters in your belly. Like river stream in your belly. In your innermost being, it will come out. So this sea 
of glass is people with a voice you can see it. like many waters they praise God out of their belly out of spirit they have the spirit John John Revelation 1 verse 1 John this is the revelation of Jesus Christ not from him of him yes it's also from him but it wants to testify or signal or show the word of God and it's about the testimony of Jesus Christ he wants to testify about Jesus Christ now I have a throne and the voice that's saying to the multitudes praise God not normal people the sea of glass they look crystal clear praise God and as the voice of mighty thunderings go and see my previous videos where I said that we when we speak out of this water out of this Holy Spirit praises to God praise God in spirit and in truth it's like thunderings and this multitude has the voice of many waters and the voice of mighty thunderings saying hallelujah for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth let us be glad let us be glad who's us? the people that is the water that is the, uh, the, the, the thunderings that is the, the sea around the throne that says praise God hallelujah the Lord of the Peter reign let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him all right you see all right second Corinthians 3 verse 17 and 18 now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty all right look here I want you I want you to focus here <coughs> here is God or our Lord is on the throne because our Lord Jesus Christ sits with God on his throne yeah. all right where the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty for whom for the sea of glass yeah for the human for humanity for the church for the sons of God Amen. Amen. where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty but we as with an open face behold as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image we looking through the glass Behold the glory of the Lord. Where is the Lord? The Lord sits on the throne. He says to us, the sea of glass, honor me, praise me, worship me. And as we look through a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed in the same glory from glory to glory, even as the Spirit of the Lord. And I see around the throne a sea of glass, a people of glass, a through sea people, a transparent people, a clear crystal people, a pure and holy people, servants of God, praise God. And out of their voices came water, it sounds like water and thunderings praise ye the Lord and as we behold the glory of the Lord in and through a glass we are changed to that same glory why a glass I'm going to explain it <laughs> why a glass why not no glass you see when we behold the glory watch when we behold the glory of the Lord as in a glass 
we behold the glory of the Lord at the back of that glass. But as we do this, I can see my reflection yeah, yeah. in the glass. But I behold the glory of the Lord, but I also see my reflection in that image what I see. So the reflection that's come back is not God alone. It's not the Lord and His glory. It is the sharer. I do behold the image of God, but I see my image reflect in His image, and that reflects back to me, and then I'm changed from glory to glory, or from one image to another image. From normal image to God's image. That's why there is a sea of glass around the throne. A people that reflects the throne life. Amen. Sure, sure, sure. I hope you understand yeah, it, yeah, Sita. Alright. But we as an open face behold as in a glass the glory of the Lord mm. are changed into that same image from glory to glory. Amen. From man's glory to God's glory. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. That was that. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 4, verses 4. Listen here. In whom the God of this world, there's a God of this world, not normal world, has blinded the minds of them which not believe. So there is people that believe, and the God of this world did not blind their minds. Listen here. But there is people that do not believe because the God of this world that blinded yeah, those people. Yeah. Why? Lest the light, lest the light, the glory, look here, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, yeah, is God on the throne? It is the image of God. The image of God is like on, is equal. Listen here. <laughs> the image of God is equal to the glorious gospel of Christ. There are people that are blinded. They cannot see because the God of this world are blinded. They cannot believe. But there is people that believe. Now, those people that do not believe, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So there is people that believe that the image of God through the gospel of Christ, he shine upon them. You can see. For we preach not ourselves. You see, there's people that will listen to this sermon and say, this guy is preaching about himself. But we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus, our Lord, and ourselves. You, your servants of Jesus' sake. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ, Jesus. He is the Lord. He is the glory that which we behold. Through a glass, we preach Him. But we see the reflection. His glory and light is so awesome. It comes through the gospel, the glorious gospel of Christ. It shines upon us who believe. And we are changed to that same image. We do not preach ourselves, but we preach Jesus Christ. And ourselves. Amen. Your servants of Jesus Christ. That's why there is a glass. We need to behold the Lord. We need to see ourselves. Reflecting with the Lord. 
and the two images is coming back to us and we are changed from our normal glory the normal lower life the natural life to the higher life the life where we look like God have the image of God oh. listen if you have the gospel of Jesus Christ you have the image of God. Amen. I've heard it. Amen. I'm just explaining to you something. Oh, uh, for God who commandeth to light, the light, to shine out of darkness, have shined in my heart to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. God has shined the light in our hearts to give the light. What is to give the light? To give reflection yeah. of the knowledge of the glory of God. God commanded the light to shine in my heart. Have shined in my heart to give the light. What light? Of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ this is another scripture that ju just explain what I'm saying here Amen. there is a throne God is sitting on a throne with his voice around the throne is crystal sea people humanity but not normal human they are crystal clear people perfect people holy people But we have this treasure in earthen vessel that the excellency of the power might be of God and not of yeah. us. Yeah. For God commanded the light to shine out of darkness in our hearts to give the light to show. That's another word to give the light. To show what? The knowledge. I must give you the knowledge of what? The glory of God. I must give you knowledge about the glory of God. But what glory of God? In the face of Jesus Christ. That knowledge is as we behold the glory of the Lord. You are changed in that same image. Listen, I'm going to read. Now you can kind of look at me. How be it? Paul is writing here. How be it? We, not I, we. Who's we? The, the disciples and the apostles. Speak wisdom among them that are perfect. It's a wisdom among those who are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak a wisdom of God in a mystery. The apostles speak a wisdom in a mystery to perfect people. The kingdom of God is a mysterious thing. And God, the Holy Spirit, gives it only to people that hunger and seek the keys of this kingdom. Amen. It's not given Amen. freely to all to see and understand. Amen. And Paul is saying, we speak to perfect men, not to non-perfect unbelievers, to perfect men. What? Wisdoms. In a mystery. It sounds like I'm speaking about mysterious things. Maybe this preacher that was saying, that guy does not know what he's speaking of. No. I have the wisdom of God, his mind, Opening divine mysteries Amen. of a prophet John, what he saw about Christ. And Christ is Jesus as Lord and you as the body of Christ. Being one reflection, shining the glorious gospel to mankind. Amen. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. 
even a hidden wisdom. It's a hidden wisdom. Which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Oh boy. There's people that speaks about their glory and their glory and glory. Yes, I speak about my glory. But it's not my glory. It is His glory. I behold Him through a glass on the throne. And I'm reflecting His throne life. That which He came to do. He came to do that we must... He came... The thing He came to do is to make us pure crystal sea. Pure and holy people that reflects His glory. I am alone. But I do not want to be alone, says Jesus. I want to die as a seed. Going into the ground. So many can come forth. And reflect the glorious gospel of Christ. Amen. And the image of God on this earth. That's where, why they were a crystal floor around the throne. That reflects the throne life. It's not normal Christians. It's sons. It's only those people that are perfect and pure. And understand the mysterious. The hidden wisdoms that says, I take the glory. I do not take my own glory. I know in myself there is nothing. But I take the glory and the authority and the life and the life of Jesus Christ. Because I behold Him always. Mm -hmm. I never talk about myself. But I know wherever I'm walking, He's walking in me. And the reflection is Him, not me. I never talk about Martin. I never called me a great pastor. But actually, I'm only Martin, a son. Don't call me pastor or prophet or apostle or something like that. I do not want that. I want to be like Jesus. That's Amen. it. I'm a son. And you need to be a son. Amen. That's it. But it is ordained before the world unto our glory which none of the princes verses 8 let's go to 9 but as it is written I have not seen nor ear have heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God have prepared for them that love him Listen here, this is in the New Testament, but it is remembering some prophet that says in the Old Testament, I man, I know there was a Moses, I know there was Elijah and stuff. I know that were great men of God. But eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what God wants to do for you. They did not have the glory of the Lord. All that great prophets did not have the glory of God. Yes, they were called by God. And because you receive them, you receive the one who sent them. John 12. That's the only way. You can only receive God if you receive the messenger and the message. But we, in the kingdom of God, is greater than the best of them in the Old Testament because we eyes have not seen, ears have not heard enter into man the things that God has prepared for us but God has revealed them unto us Paul is saying this by His Spirit for the Spirit search all things yea, the deep things of God I'm speaking deep things of God this morning Amen and if you do not understand me, it's because you do not have the Spirit of God, Amen. nor you understand the deep things of God. Verse 13. Which things also we speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receive not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolish unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritual discern. These things that I speak this morning is about the spiritual God. 
with a spiritual Bible, spiritual words to spiritual men. And we must receive a spiritual God, spiritual words, spiritual message. We must receive it as spiritual and not natural. Amen. So there will not be some day a throne in heaven with a glassy sea around the throne. No, it's the opening of Christ for us that the glory of God can shine upon us. He wants to tell us, there God is sitting on a throne and there will be a people around the throne that reflects the throne life. Who are they? They that praise God, that is pure, that is holy, that knows the glory of the Lord, that knows and receives Christ, who have the same image as Jesus Christ. Amen. This is this people. Let me see here. Yeah? But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolish unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritual discerned. But that is spiritual, judges all things. Yea, he himself is judge of no, no man. For whom have known the mind of the Lord? that he may instruct him. No man, listen, has the mind of the Lord to instruct, give the Lord instructions. No man. But listen, I'm speaking a deep wisdom here, a revelation to a people that have the Spirit of God. All right? Listen closely to what I'm saying. The spiritual people judge things spiritual. No man can judge a spiritual man. Amen. For whom? For what man know of the mind of the Lord to instruct him, the Lord? But we have the mind of Christ. Amen. Do you know the word but? Some people will say something but. That but is very important. Amen. Who have the mind of the Lord to instruct him? But you have the mind of Christ. So if he says but you have the mind of Christ. That means you have the mind of him to give the Lord instructions. But no natural man has the might of God. But if you are spiritual and you are one part of the glassy sea people and you are around the throne and you look to the glory of the Lord and you see your own glory. I do not preach myself. I preach the Lord but also myself. And I see my image with His image and I'm changed from image to image, from glory to glory. Then I have His Spirit, but also His mind, to give the Lord instructions. Glory. To give the Lord instructions. What instructions? Lord, I have a thing here. Yes, I can see you have a thing here. What are we going to do about this thing? Lord, let's do it this way. All right. Not you doing it out of yourself. No. With the power and the oneness and with the spirit and with his mind. In your mind. You do not need to ask, Lord, what must we do about this? I do. Can you come and do it? No. Jesus Christ says, you have my mind. What do you think we must do? Instruct. Give instructions. Oh, Lord. Alright, I think we must do it this way. Let it be according to your word. Sure, sure. Amen. Yes, there is a natural people. Listen, let's go to Galatians 4 verse 1. Galatians 4 verse 1. Yes, there is a natural Christian. But don't tell, don't tell 
to this preacher that all Christians are the same. Amen. Not all Christians are the same. <laughs> Not all Christians are the same. No. Because you say, I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm speaking of a crystal clear sea, a people, the servants of God that looks through the glass, that reflects the throne life, the sons of God. Now I say that the hair, the air, the air, as long as he is a child, differs nothing from a servant, no. though he be Lord of all. But he is under tutors and governors until the time the appointed of the Father. Even so we, ons was ook so, we were like that. When we were children, we were in bondage and under the elements of this world. So, you get a son, and that son is not mature, then he's actually a child. He's a son of God, yes, but he's a child. He differs nothing from a servant in your home. He's Lord of all, but he's under governors and tutors to instruct him. And he's under elements, the elements of this world. The elements of this world has power and authority still over you. But there is a people around the throne, a crystal clear people that behold the glory of the Lord. And that glory becomes your glory and your image. And you have that spirit as you speak there's lightnings and as your voice go out it sounds like waters the waters of multitudes I see I say things over and over again so that you can yeah, 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 yeah. see yeah. that's why I do it not because yeah. you're stupid <laughs> I like it but you are under tutor Christians is Lemuel is not a woman, he's a man. But when I say to him, be a man, man. Be a man. He, he can say to me, I am a man. No, it means be a man. I can say to Zia, oh no man, be a man. Do you know what I mean then? It means be strong, be courageous. Be grown up. Be grown up. Be a man. So a Christian can be a Christian under the elements of this world, under tutors and governors, exactly like a slave, or he can be a son, full grown, and a man that has the mind of Christ, that has his spirit in, that reflects the throne life, not the normal life, because the throne I saw, and around the throne was a glassy people, a glassy sea. And those people reflect throne life, reign, reigning, manship, for us and I, adulthood, maturity. maturity. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Corinth, 1 Corinthians 13 verse 10 says, let me read it. But when which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, so is the Christians that is child. Yes. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. There's many childish people that will criticize me about this sermon, but they are childs. Children, and I don't care. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, and I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Amen. For now we see through a glass. Amen. Yes, again. Amen. Now, for now, Paul is saying 2,000 years ago when he wrote to Corinthians, those people, he said, for now we see through a glass, also again, 
people that see through a glass. Darkly, meaning it is not clear. But then, but when, when, then, when is then? When the perfect has come. Because he speaks, verse 10 says, but when that which is perfect is come. So the perfect is come in Jesus Christ. Amen. Now there is children that differ not from slaves, and they still look through a glass, but it's darkly. But when they look through a clear glass, the glory of the Lord. And they see their image reflecting. They are changed from the glory they have to the glory of the Lord. Then it's starting to get clearer and clearer. This glass is getting clearer. Yeah. For now we see 2000 years he said to those people, darkly, but then face to face, now I know. In, what is that word? What is your Bible in saying there? Part. I, in, part. in part. But then we shall know. <laughs> Where? Oh, oh. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I also am known. You see, people preach this. One day in heaven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now we see things darkly. We do not understand. But when heaven, when you die, and when we all get to heaven, what the day of rejoicing that will be, then you will know the perfect. You will know God. You will see Him face to face. You will know. That's not what He's talking about. He talks about when love comes. Before love is, you are a child. You see through a dark glass. But when the perfect is come, when Jesus Christ has come, and you can see the perfection, the perfect is the perfection of His plan and will and purposes, you see clearly now, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. La 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 la. And I can know him because I look on him face to face. I can know and I can even also know I am known as I am known. As I am known. And now by the faith, hope, charity in these things. But the greatest of this is love or charity. Alright, I'm going to John 13 and I'm ending. Are you with me? Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh. John is saying, so after Jesus had washed their feet and had taken his garment, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Do you understand what I have done to you? I have washed your feet. Ye call me master, you call me master and Lord. And ye say, well, it's alright, you saying, well, for so I am, I am Lord and Master. But if I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. You need to be a servant. If our Lord Jesus Christ, His Lord and Master, we be all his glory. We behold His glory. We are changed 
from His glory to our glory. Our glory is own self. Don't worry. Don't mind about others. His glory is His washing the feet. His Lord and Master, but He's a servant to serve. Alright? So, we are changed from our glory to that glory. So, understand this. Look here. I'm slating off. What? Closing. Huh? Closing. Closing. I'm closing. I'm closing. Here's the people. You get Christians, kids, and you get sons. But this people that is around the throne reflects the throne life. They reflect, they are pure, they are transparent, they are a perfect people. They reflect Jesus Christ's spirit because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You are free. If you are not free, you are a child and you are bondage under the elements of this world. But when you are a son, you have the mind of Christ to instruct the Lord. You cannot instruct the Lord without His Spirit, nor His mind, nor His heart. His heart is Master and Lord and Saviour. This people that is the glossy, clear, crystal people. Is the people with his heart, his heart, his servanthood. Amen, amen. That reflects his heart, his spirit, and his mind. Amen, amen. That is the glossy sea people around the throne. So now you can place yourself. Do I have the spirit of God? And when I speak, is there water? Is there lightnings? Is there belly? Water, life inside of me? Can I create this glory? Do I have the mind to reflect the throne life? Do I have the attitude? Do I have the heart of God? A Christian that says to me, yeah, I, I preach to them, I man, you must forgive your mom and your dad. Oh boy. You need spirit. I do not need to tell you that. But the Christian that here yeah, has the spirit of God and his mind and his character and his personality and his servanthood and his heart, you don't need to tell him to say, to say anything like give. You must give. You must help people. You must be a servant. You must forgive. You know it. Those people reflect the throne life by itself. And it's only those people that sit on the throne. Listen, John wrote to the church, the seven churches, say to them, they are not in a place where they ought to be. They are all children. Yes, I love them. Yes, I'm between the candlesticks. But I need them to see the door. Turn around. There's a voice behind me. Turn around. I turn around, John. I saw an open door. Tell them to go through the open door. There's a higher place where they can come in. And when John go through the open door, he so, see the throne and this crystal sea and the lightnings and the voices. And tell now the church about this is the image of Christ and the image of the Lord. As they behold this, they can have and be part of this and experience this. I want them to have my heart, my spirit, my mind, so that they can reflect the glorious gospel, the image of God on this earth in a natural dimension. My displeasure. Amen.